Welcome to Sonic Fit. This video is an overview for instructors, showing you how to create classes, assign work, and view scores. First, you'll have to email me to get a username and password. Click on how to register for a class, and then send me an email. With your username and password in hand, click on instructors, and then type them in here. You can use username test and password test if you haven't obtained your own username and password at this time. The instructor homepage looks like this. You see your course is listed here. You can rename a course. You can delete a course. To add a new course, simply type in the name, submit. It appears as a new course that you could then delete. The left banner is a handy place to find everything needed on the instructor interface. For my course period four, I can click on student profiles and it takes me to a list of all my students, their emails to contact them, and even a way to edit their password. So if they've forgotten their password, you give them a new one, tell them what the new one is, and then on the student side they can change their password. You can also remove a student. Sometimes a student will register more than once or someone mistakenly gets in your class. And then you can view scores. View scores is either clicking the view scores button or clicking a student name anywhere in the instructor's interface. There'll be more on that later. It takes you to a page where you see all the scores of that student on the various exercises. When you click on view scores for a class, it shows you all the scores for that class. Clicking on the name would take you to the summary for that student. When you roll over the title of a class, it gives you all of the parameters that you set up for that assignment. There are two types of assignments available in Sonic Fit. One is an assessment. An assessment is a test and you set all of the parameters and then the students take the quiz or test and then it will show the percent that they got on that test. The other type of assignment is a practice log. Since practice logs leave many settings available to the students, you can see the settings that they choose and the scores that they receive by rolling over the completion mark. As you can see, this class didn't have any practice logs. But if we go to this class and roll over this incomplete practice log, you can see that they spent two minutes and 15 seconds on it. And six of those seconds were at one set of settings. And then they quickly switched and worked for a minute and 21 seconds with another set of settings. The parameters that they had to choose from were these. You can see the due dates and the required amount of time and which exercise they were allowed to pick from for this assignment. The next two links below a course title, Build the Course and Course Setup, allow you to build the course. This will be a quick overview. Build the Course is accessible both here in the left banner as well as from the View Scores page. So if you want to add an assignment to summer 2010 in the course test, you can hit build the course. In the build the course page, we can add new assignments, either assessments or practice logs. There is a separate video on these features. To see the settings of an existing assignment, just roll over it. We can also easily delete unwanted assignments. To delete an assignment, you would click on it and hit delete. You can't currently edit assignments. Instead, you just delete the old one and create a replacement. More on this in the video on creating an assignments. While well, you can add a unit on this page, the main page for adding a unit is the course setup page. The course setup page shows us all of the rosters and units for a course. 
For many occasions, you won't need to add a roster or a unit, but to know the potential, I will briefly explain these. A roster is a separate list of students for the same course curriculum. If you have two class periods of the same course, like beginning choir, both first and third period, then you probably would like to see the scores of each class separately when looking at grades. Eventually, the grades will be exportable to many grading programs and school grading databases. At that point, you will definitely need your roster to exactly match the class list and will, in fact, import your class lists from those programs into separate rosters. The most important part of the rosters is the join code. This is what students use if they register themselves. It's a unique code that they must match exactly and then they will be put into this class. If somebody accidentally types in your join code then they will be put into your class and you'll have to delete their name off of your roster. If you mess up with a roster you can delete and you can name your join code, making it something that's meaningful and rememberable to you and your students. The system will automatically make sure that it's a unique name. Once everybody has registered for your class, you can actually lock the class, and that way no one can add their name to it using your join code. Units are a way to divide your assignments for your own convenience. When assigning a lot of work, Eventually, it gets more than I want to look at scrolling right. I tend to set up units according to semesters. Eventually, instructors will be able to copy and reuse units for different classes or different time frames and globally alter the assign and due dates. Before leaving, I'll show you how units and rosters appear on the View Score page. The units appear as tabs at the top. So if I want to see what I'm going to be assigning in the fall, it's here. To change the rosters, just click on which roster you want. If you haven't created a second roster, then you won't have anything in this box right here. This has been an overview of the instructor's interface at Sonic Fit. To see details on adding assignments and practice logs, please open the video called Sonic Fit Instructor Interface Tutorial Number 2, Adding Assessments and Practice Logs. To get started with your class today, email me for an instructor, username, and password. My email is contact at sonicfit.com.